to Bitches of Horror, and today we are going to have a little interview that was sent to us by 13th Floor. Yeah. So we're going to read the questions, and then we're going to answer and see what comes out. Yeah, we haven't actually read the interview questions yet, so everything's going to be a bit of a surprise. Yeah, very spontaneous. (laughs) So let's start with question number one. How did you come to love the horror genre? Okay. Well, I remember being six years old and watching Halloween the first original one, and like I fell in love with it, and it kind of scared me when I was a kid. Uh, So from that point on, I loved horror. And I also remember watching like the last 20 minutes of Pet Cemetery, but I didn't know it was Pet Cemetery. So then I like spent years searching the movie, like what was that movie? And then I finally found it, I was like, whoa. And that movie also, yeah, kind of traumatized me when I was young. (laughs) I don't know, like, I was kind of late into the horror genre thing. I've always been very afraid of stuff. Like, living in America uh, when I was a child, uh, Halloween was a big thing, especially because it was my birthday. So I always loved, like, witches and, and, like, vampires and, like, creatures and stuff like that. But I remember, like, waking up in the middle of the night and accidentally seeing a vampire in Brooklyn. Oh. And it really scared me. Like even like the thriller video from from Michael Jackson like scared me when I was a child. Uh, but then when I was nine years old, I made my mom let me watch The Exorcist because my friend was going to watch it, and I was like, I I really want to go see it. My mom was like, No, no, no. She's like, You can't come into my room, you know, if you're if you're scared or whatnot. And no. And I, you know, I I got my way. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, Fine, you can watch it, but you're not coming to me when you're scared. I was like, it's fine, I won't be scared. And then I watched it, and I came home, and I was like, it was fine, it was nothing, it it wasn't scary at all. And then when night came, and I was supposed to go to bed, like, I would not go into my room. Um, We were, we went to church back then, and you know, I, 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 you know, I believed in God and Satan and whatnot, brainwashed as I was as a child. And, uh, I like held the door of my of my room and I was like, no, Satan's coming to get me. I don't want the devil to take me. No, please. And my mom was like, fine, you can sleep on the floor. And I was like, thank you. Um, so that like traumatized me and like Reagan's face still haunts me to this day. But after that, for some reason, I kind of really started going into horror. Uh, before that, I was more like kid horror, like goosebumps and stuff like that. But after that, like it, I don't know why, even though it traumatized me, I kind of still went into it. Yeah, you liked it. Yeah, you liked it's the like feeling. the masochist that I am, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and after that, it's just, you know, just love it. So that's how I got into it. Yeah. You can go on to question two. You want to read it? Yeah. Favorite, m- favorite memory pertaining to it, care to share? Oh. Oh, that was, I was for just, the first question. Yeah, then, I guess. So I guess we kind of. Yeah. I answered it. Mm-hmm. Know your favorite memory? Uh, favorite memory? Uh, it, I guess like, I, I don't that. remember so much. From no, my but childhood. but still, like you, you searched for the pet yeah. cemetery, and that's a memory. Yeah, it is. And I just kind of free myself. <laughs> yeah, out, yeah. Just my pants. <laughs> um, okay, we can go on to question number three. How did you get started with the podcast? Well, it was actually Jasmine's idea from the beginning. I don't know what happened. I was just like. <laughs> We you're like, like I, I, I have an idea. No, but I think we were watching so many horror movies together, and I kind of wanted to do something on the internet and like make some sort of podcast or video or whatnot. I'm not a good writer. Like, if you've ever been on my Tumblr, which I don't really use anymore, like the reviews I did were like one sentence reviews. Like this was that shit. Be cool this as well. was this yeah, was good. those are funny. Yeah, but no one's gonna <laughs> go onto a website. I mean, that's fun for like sort of things, but no, if I have a website with just one sentence reviews, people are just gonna be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> maybe I don't know some people enjoy it I guess but it, it's not really that good and I won't be able to, to do anything like that I, I talk better than I write um, and then I just thought like it'd be cool to do something with, with Sarah whatever it is and I, I told her about it and then and I was like yeah hell yeah why not yeah and then we just try it before we just thought what, what should we call it call us you know what, what should it be we were like something like bitches horror but Maybe that's too simple. Yeah. And then it would just... Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it kind of stuck. It was yeah. good, though. I think it was a good choice. Yeah, I think it was an excellent choice. Yes. Yeah. People... I don't know. I know. Bitches, it has a good ring to it. Yeah. yeah. Bitches so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we got started, anyways. Yeah. 
question yeah. number four. How do you cope with life obligations and still finding time for your passion? Well, yeah, I'm working two jobs at the moment uh, and Witches of Horror and trying to make it as an actress or a screenplay writer and it's, it's difficult. I mean, I don't have much time, but there's always time to watch movies. For some reason, I always find time to watch like one or two movies a day. Well, you had it really good with the one job you had. Yeah, you can watch chill, movies can, on the job. Yeah, but now I have this more serious job. Yeah, and yeah but yeah, I, I try to like work as much so that I can make just make it financially, not like be rich or anything, and just. Yeah, still try, have free time. Yeah, try to take on as many film projects as I can and just watch movies and do bitches of horror and yeah. my reviews. That's so, like, like, um, like, people are always like, yeah, you need to work to get money. But also, it's very important to have your free time because if you just yeah. work all the time, you just, some people crash. Yeah, some people can do it. Amazing. Like, my dad, he works all the time and he enjoys it. But like me, mm. um, I had to cut down, especially because I didn't like the job I, that I had, but um, I working too much and you don't have any free time I kind of like just yeah melt. that makes me go crazy as yeah. well I need to have my even if it's just like two hours just like to do whatever I need to do if I want to play video games or if I want to watch a movie it's very important uh, now I work part time uh, but it's enough <laughs> uh, but now I have a baby as well so I'm not working at all but still full time job taking yeah, care take of a baby make it much with the baby. I just started like it's been really hard to like c- coming back from the labor and everything it's been pretty hard for me uh, but now 11 days has passed and it's, I'm feeling a lot better so today I've actually watched three movies with the baby just you know holding her she's so easy to, to k- take care of so um, f- hopefully from now on I can watch more movies especially when I'm off and when the baby gets older I can watch movies with her yeah I have to wait a few years maybe we start out with a few Easy ones. Yeah, nice ones. <laughs> Not go on to Aftermath, the first movie she watches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, it, you know, it is it is difficult keeping a job and also having time to watch movies. And with, especially with Bitches of Horror, we have to have a day that we both have time to do something. With. Yeah, and we also have to watch the special films. Yeah, watch the movies and, yeah. and, you know, have time for all of that. And it, usually it works, but, you know, sometimes, you know, we've missed a, a week weeks, or so. Yeah. Or, and then, you know, stuff happens, but you just yeah. don't have time. But, but we, yeah. we try to. Oh, yeah, we, we, we manage. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, <laughs> moving on to question number five. Is there an ultimate goal for the podcast? What about personal goals? Ooh. Well, I just, I just want to be bigger. Like, yeah, just re- reach out to more horror loving fans. Yeah. Especially like with the indie movies and stuff, like get those out there and, and uh, also watch more indie movies because there's a lot of gems out there. Uh, exactly. But also like, I think the ultimate goal is like to be invited to like film festivals. Yeah, uh, that would be awesome. Yeah, so like, and also <laughs> one of my personal goals is to have my um, quote on a movie. Like, you know, oh, you know, like on the front and it says like, oh yeah, well this was shit. Jasmine bitches. Sorry. Well. <laughs> yeah. They like, would probably use that one. Yeah. Like that that is like something that I would, that would really love. Like. Cool. Yeah. And I talked about that with the thirteenth floor. Like it would be so cool to have like a quote on there. It's like that's like my personal dream with this, with with the whole review thing. Yeah. But like Just as, to be bigger yeah. and like find more horror loving fans and more filmmakers and watch more new films also. Yeah. Just to I don't know, get the buzz going on a few films. Make horror bigger, yeah. especially in Sweden. Like, we don't yeah. do this in Swedish, but um, we just want it to be bigger in general. Yeah. Just 666 people subscribing would also be pretty, pretty yeah. cool. Or a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah, but thanks for subscribing yes, and liking. Definitely. Keep on doing that. Uh, moving on to question number six you successfully completed filming a feature-length film what was the process like and challenges and victories during production can you name some so yeah we've I'll let you start with this yeah <laughs> we, we finished filming Saria uh, Wounded. Wounded. Yeah. and um, the process was very special it was very for special. me especially but for everyone <laughs> for everyone I mean special as in it was really good 
but also it was very tough for me. Mm. Uh, it was my first time actually like participating in such a big production, uh, even if it, uh, yeah, even it was really small, but it was big. Yeah, but it was a feature film. Yeah. Like not everyone makes a feature film. That's a big production. Yeah, and it was my first time uh, being a first assistant director, and I really didn't know what my role was until someone was like, why aren't you doing this? This is just your job. And I got really pissed off and I was like, fuck off. You don't know what, I, what I've been told. Uh, but yeah, then, you know, everyone was trying to learn the yeah. roles. Like, not everyone was professional or anything. No. Just amateurs trying to <laughs> yeah. teach your film. But then, like, a- after, like, uh, getting to know what I was supposed to be doing, um, it was much easier for me yeah, to okay, actually do my job. job. Yeah. Uh, and dealing with people is very difficult like some people that are is just the most difficult during yeah. the process uh, and all the opinions we didn't all like the... get into any fights or no, anything no, 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 no. Uh, which no. was pretty good but like dealing with some people and actors and and other p- people <laughs> is really difficult because your values and their values are totally different so something that's obvious for me is not obvious yeah. for someone else uh And that process can be very difficult with, you know, just keeping the group together without making too many issues of something. Yeah. It's always like that, even in everything that involves a group of people yeah. that you have to work with. But I mean, most people were wonderful. Yeah. Like, like when yeah. we actually, like, did everything, like, yeah. really good and, like, people put in the everything, it was just, it went easy. Yeah. That's the thing, like, it... it, it we had our really good times and our really bad times like people were screaming at each other and whatnot and and yeah. people were afraid of this and people wouldn't do that yeah. and yeah. we had we problems had to, like convince people and it took a lot of time from the schedule yeah. just to convince someone no but this yeah. will like work just try people it were and late and people yeah. were fussy and people didn't want to come and oh it's too far and you know people are whiny like after filming Saudi I was just like I hate people <laughs> I really hate people. Oh, you people. realize that after filming well, Saudi Arabia? You know, like, I, I, I generally don't like people, but I still had some faith. Like, but after filming, I was just like, God, I hate people. And, you know, I was really channeling into the Martinez bloodline. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, there were some days I just want, I, just, I was just like, yeah, I just want to get this done. Yeah. Like, just. And then some, like, but like when you're done with a day and you, everyone's done their thing, yeah. and you're just like, yes, that was so yeah, good. Oh, let's like, do mm, it again tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait to, like, yeah. yeah. So definitely ups and downs. Yeah. Um, But in the end, then, yeah, I challenging. I think good. I think it was the effects that were probably most challenging, except for the people. Yeah. Like some things were just like I, like remember, I remember the uh, the balloon I was trying to make with the blood. Uh, this I think this was during the teaser though. Yeah. And uh, like to stab it and then like pull it out. It was so, so that weird that it didn't yeah, break. Like, it did not <laughs> break. break. I think it was a plastic bag, a really thin so like weird. freezer plastic bag. Yeah. And then we had like a knife, a, a knife knife, and we were trying to like stab it and like pull it out so like the blood would splatter, but it, it wouldn't pop, and yeah, I was just getting just really wouldn't. irritated. And I was like filling it up and like making it smaller, and it just wouldn't yeah. go. So that yeah. was that was a, stuff like that. And you always have to like be creative and find new ways in case some things work, and and you you will find obstacles with effects. Yeah. Some things just will not work. Like when the intestines started breaking and you're just like no put it back together yeah no, no, no. <laughs> yeah but you know yeah we try to be creative and you make victories through your challenges yeah <laughs> and you learn so much you, you learn do you so do much yeah you learn what works and what doesn't yeah and, yeah it was real fun helping out with sfx as well it was, yeah it's really fun <laughs> um yeah number seven number seven okay about midway through the lifespan of bitches of horror the fledgling new site 13th flora approached you for a partnership What's that relationship been like? It's really good. Like <laughs> it's I'm s- amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy that they they, they you know they yeah. contacted us. Like you I don't, I don't even know why. I was like, I was like, how do they? What and what? And I was just like, yes, Sarah, they contact someone contacted us about you know working together. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I was like, yeah. And um, I had like yeah, I just just I was just surprised. Yeah, me like, too. Like how and especially because it was someone from the states. How far we had actually like gotten uh, from yeah, Sweden, like, UK, they noticed us. and then they noticed and they thought it was good. Like I don't even know how they found us. Twitter, I think. Maybe. I just, yeah. yeah, 
and um, working with them has been really good. Like we've had chances to see films we probably wouldn't have been able yeah. to see. Um, and they're such nice people. Yeah, right? Jeremiah and David, yeah. they're just really, really great. And uh, when I go to visit the States, um, I'm definitely going by to visit oh, them. Because we have, cool. haven't met, we've only talked to Yeah, hopefully we might meet so. someday. Yeah. It would be really cool. Um, and it's, they, know, they become like sort of like a family. And, you know, we have our chat. We just talk yeah. shit about horror and like show stuff that we found and yeah we you gotta watch anything. this and yeah. yeah and we talk about all sorts of nasty stuff it's just it's really fun it's fun to have people to talk nasty stuff with. yeah it's, it's always, always good to have more nasty yeah. talkers more nasty life. in your life yeah you know? <laughs> um so that partnership is something that i really cherish yeah i was just about to say cherish as well so yeah <laughs> no that's still, your, that's still your cherished thunder yeah. <laughs> um yeah yeah that relationship has been awesome just in general. I don't know what more to say about it. It's just really Hopefully good. Hopefully it'll keep blooming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bloom on. Yeah. <laughs> and number eight. In the spirit of the recently released thriller Green Room, what are your desert island horror movies? Oh my god. I don't even think I can answer this. But like, yeah, we pick one movie then if we would go into a... Oh yeah, okay, horror. yeah. Is it that? I think so. Let's answer it like that, because I can't think of any desert island horror movies. Oh. So, what would you pick one each? Just one movie, if I was in a desert. have to watch a million times. Well, I pick my favorite, Suspiria. I know you were picking that. <laughs> what would I pick? <laughs> That's a really hard one. I think it would be... Evil Dead. Oh, that's a good one. The first one or the second one? The first one. Okay. I would have picked the second one. if I. The second one's like, one I don't know thing. though. Like, that's the thing. Like, you kind of want, but you just get irritated with the jokes. Like, after a while, after watching it like 300 times. You just, like, I still find everything funny in it. Yeah, but you ha- think about watching this movie 300 times in a row. Like, I, I love Evil Dead. Don't get me wrong. Maybe you would become Ash eventually. Yeah, but like, then like, if you have a serious <laughs> one, like sometimes you'd yeah. find it funny and sometimes you'd find it not serious. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'd say uh, yeah. First, okay. Evil Dead One, yeah. probably my pick. Not the remake. <laughs> I love the remake. Yeah. But you hate oh, you I love know. the remake. I hate the remake. Oh, it breaks my heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to number nine. That's the special one. Oh, that's for Jasmine. Yeah. Uh, I can read yours. Yeah, just okay. just change that to baby is already okay. out and not on the okay. way. <laughs> so this one is for Jasmine. So the baby is already out. Uh, what films do you plan on using to share your passion of horror with your child? And what happens if they turn out to hate horror Gosh, films? Just, that's the that's the fear, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Evil Dead is definitely one of them, and also Nightmare on Elm Street series. Like all of them, not just the first one. Like one until. Five, Freddy's dead can go and just in the trash because that's where it belongs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm not a really big fan of a new nightmare either. But a new nightmare is also watchable at least once. Uh, but one to five, like I love them all, uh, even though I know a lot of people hate them after three. But I I really like Dream Child and I uh, I like pretty much everyone. Like yeah. just for the death scenes and just the jokes and the Freddy's. You like lines. Freddy's dead. I thought it was alright. Really? It's so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, probably those. I'm not sure if I want to like get into like gore movies. Let me get be, like, into awkward. it herself. Maybe. You, yeah, you know, like sitting there with your daughter watching vomit gore trilogy. Just tri- trilogy. Trilogy. You just be like, this is really awkward. I don't want to watch this with you. <laughs> She's like, Mommy, what is this movie? Can I watch it? Through? Like, go watch oh, it. Oh, yeah. I have, to, I have to have like a secret cabinet where you can't open it and lock it. Yeah, you have all the aftermath, the cannibal. Yeah. The <laughs> all the nastiness. Yeah. And yeah. when she's like, I don't know. Yeah. 15. She, or she'll open it. She'll be like, take out necrophilic, necrophilic passion, necrophilic passion. <laughs> yeah. And like, the front of that is like really grim. She's like, she's like what's this? You're you like, give you a key. And this, is, this is for your 15th birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't use it. But like, in my hand. death. And I have yeah. like, <laughs> A little envelope, like open after death. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, if she turned out to hate more horror movies, I'd be pretty sad. But I'd accept it. Yeah, we well, have to. I have to accept <laughs> yeah. it. I wouldn't shun her, but yeah. I'd make her watch at least one horror movie on Halloween every year. It'd be one of those traditions that 
that you don't want, you know, that your children hate, but you just have to do it. I think that that would be it. Yeah. But hopefully she'll like it. Yeah. At least some. Oh yeah, you can read mine. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. So the last question is for Sarah. You've been very busy with script writing. If you could assemble the cast of your choosing for the film you've always wanted to make, who would they be and what would the project be about? That that's a tough one because <laughs> I have so many like projects in mind, but like I'm, I recently wrote a cannibal script, so I would very much like to, and it's a feature, so I would like to do that one. But what type of actors I would cast? I don't know. I just get like like pic- the famous people, like, like pictures of people's faces, but I I can't like put it in who that is. Just I want someone that looks like this or. Someone and I would want Jasmine in it also. That, that would be I mean, very cool. cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you had like a, like a dream actor to work with or actress mm. that would like fit the yeah premise. Um, Dead or alive, I'm guessing. Damn, that that's so hard. But I really like the Aubrey or Aubrey chick from Scream. She's cool. She would be. Oh, oh from the yeah, series. Yeah, series, yeah. I really like her. Really? She's one of my new favorites. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, and I also like, uh, what's her name? I, Rose McIver from iZombie. She, she plays uh, Liv. I, also, I really like her. She has some weird taste. Yeah, but I, I really she like her. She has weird I re- taste. I recently saw season two, so I was like, she, she's like I couldn't crazy. watch that crap. No, I, I, I watched like I three like episodes it. and I was like, I this like is it. just really bad. I watched Scream. I did watch Scream. I think Audrey, she's so annoying. No, she's cool. And she's an arrow. She's cool. And she's a lesbian, and you know. No, she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was it. Also, love you guys. It's always a pleasure collaborating, and here's to a long-lasting relationship. So I'm guessing yeah. that they like our relationship as well. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, I think so. And yeah. to continue our relationship, because this is something that I really, really enjoy. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, that was it for the yeah. interview. If you guys have any questions, you know, send them in and we'll just, like... We'll yeah, we'll do another one. Yeah, like. I love questions and I'll answer... We'll answer basically anything. Basically. Basically. Anything. Yeah. yeah. We're pretty open. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But thanks for watching. Yes, and thank you, 13th Floor, for the questions. And uh, we'll send this to you, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Or you'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. So stay horrific. Bye. Bye.